Hey, what's up guys? So last week on my video for the 3D camera tracking in After Effects, some people were interested on how I did the BB-8 effect in 3D tracking it into the scene. So that's what I'm going to be showing today. To be able to do this, you need a plugin called Element 3D. It's from Video Copilot. It's a really cool plugin and it allows you to do a lot of awesome things. So if you want to download that, I'll leave a link in the notes below. So anyway, once you have this installed, you can get a free Star Wars pack from them. You just install that into a folder for Element 3D. And so inside of After Effects, you can create a new composition. So now what I'm going to do is just drag in my footage, have this little shot here walking backwards. And now I'm going to 3D camera track this scene. And if you don't know how to do that, I have a video from last week that you can check out on how to do that. So just track camera. Okay, so now as you can see, I have all these track points in my scene here. So now I can keep going. I'm going to right click and create a new solid doesn't matter, just create it, then search in your effects for element, comes right up from Video Copilot, drag that on your solid, and now you have all these options from element 3D. So now what I'm going to do is click scene setup, and you have this window here that pops up, and you can choose different models. I'm just going to choose the Star Wars one and the BB-8 unit. So now a little BB-8 unit pops up on this window here, and you can scroll around in three dimensions, you can change the reflection, things like that. And now you'll see a little BB-8 unit right there on my scene. It's just sitting there though. It's not locked into the scene. So what I need to do is go back to the 3D camera tracker and create a point. I'm just going to put them right here. So just click create new solid in camera. It doesn't really matter. Create that. Just delete the solid. And now BB-8 is in the scene, but it's not really in the place that I would like it to be. So what I'm going to do is go back to the solid, click the scene setup again, and you can adjust three axes of where the 3D model is positioned and bring it forward on the z-axis. And so now as you can see, the unit pops up a tiny bit, but that's clearly not enough, so I'm going to do that some more until I get it right. Bring that forward more, bring the Y down, click OK. Now it's more centered into the scene. You can see it goes stays in the same place as a pass by, but it still doesn't look like it's on the ground. It's kind of floating in the air. So you need to tweak everything around, just kind of bring it down, forward, mess around with all the settings here. And of course in this scene setup you can also scale up the unit to create whatever size you want. Now he's more life-sized, so that's good. So now that looks alright, he's kind of tracked into the scene. Although it's not perfect, you can always just mess around with the settings more later and create a more realistic looking shot. So now that I have this shot in here, there's a few things that I'm going to do to tweak it to make it look more realistic. So I can click on the element layer, go back, and change the environment, and change any of these settings. They have different environment maps you can choose through to make it look more realistic to your scene. For example, if I choose one of these dark ones, it creates a nighttime look, and obviously it doesn't fit into this scene. It's way too dark, it doesn't match it. So I'm just going to change it back to something a little bit more daylight-like. So now this looks alright, but BB-8 still isn't perfectly fit into the scene. So what I'm going to do is search curves. And now what this allows me to do is just basically change a few of the colors on BB-8. Try and blend it in a little bit more. Alright, so now that looks pretty good. I'm just going to render this out and show you what I get. So now I'm going to show you a new example. I'm just going to create a new composition. Click OK. Choose a new file here. Alright, so I just have this drone shot I'm going to bring in here. Drag this into my composition. Now I'm going to go and track the camera. Okay, so now that it's done tracking, you can see all these points again that are tracked. And so now I'm going to create a new solid again. Search element. Drag that on. And go up to my scene setup. And so under the models, under the star pack, there's actually a bunch of different options. You have the BB-8 unit, a corridor, a couple lightsabers, R2-D2, a space fighter, evaporator, and then the X-Wing. So that's what I'm going to be showing in this example here. It comes up. It's a really nice model. And so I'm just going to drag this in just to get a starting point to click OK. And so now it's in my scene, not tracked at all. Go back to my drone shot and select some points. I want it off in the distance, but kind of hovering, so I'm going to select some points over here. So just kind of over in that area, so right click, create solid in camera. So we got a little solid over there. So this is way in the wrong spot for me. So what I'm going to do here 
is raise the height a little bit and then move it way back. Can't really see it anymore, so we're going to scale it way up. <laughs> All right, there we go. That's looking better. Scale it down if we have to. But now we have this ship that more or less is tracked into our scene. And you can see that just sitting there, not really doing anything. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to adjust how the ship moves. Okay, so if you go into group one under particle look, you can change the rotation of the ship. But I'm just going to close that right now and go to aux channels. If you go to channel one, you can adjust the rotation. And the rotation here actually affects the wings. So that's the wrong one, obviously. I think it's this one here. But you can see animate the opening and closing of the X-wing wings. So what I'm going to do here is set it back to zero. At the start, have it at zero. So I'm going to set a keyframe right here. And as it moves along, when it gets to about right here, I want them to open up to 15%. So now that looks a like good fighter position. So as I go back, when I play this back, the wings open as the video plays back, which is pretty cool. And of course, you can also adjust the rotation. So if I click back on this solid, go back to scene setup, and zoom in here, I click this little rotation tool, and now I can affect the rotation of the ship. So now if I rotate it a little bit that way, and now adjust that way. So now as it goes up, it views that angle of the ship opening. And of course, you can animate this as well. So if I go back up, close this down, go to particle look and particle rotation, I can adjust the X, Y, and Z rotation over a period of time using keyframes as well. So what I'm going to do is have it start over here. And so I'm just going to click a keyframe right here. And when it gets to up here, I want it to go back to zero. And so now you can see as it raises, the ship rotates in this direction while it opens the wings at the same time. So it gives you lots of customization for how you can change your shots. And of course, there's way more settings here. You can see all of this stuff that comes with this plugin, including render settings, where it has all these lighting, shadows, reflection, fog. So it's just really awesome the amount of customization you can do in this application. So I hope you like this super simple video on how to use Element 3D and After Effects. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh